All right, we've been walking for a little while and we have our second snake of the night. The first snake was a uh, one of the bo boas. It was way up in a tree and I could see it from the eye shine. I couldn't get any pictures of it. And shout out to my buddy, uh, YouTube buddy, Techno Indo, asking about eye shine in boas uh, at night for his friends. Now, can you see this snake? It's a blunt head tree snake. Check that out. Out here looking for lizards. Hey, here we are at the Ocho Verde waterfall. I've just been up changing the card in the camera and I was coming down and I found a little terciopela. See that little guy right there? Let's get a little closer. Let's get a little closer. See that little guy right there? He's tiny. Uh, that's about the size of a silver dollar. Gives you an idea of how tiny it is. This is best actually down four or five feet. And that's one of the places where I was considering putting my hand. So that's why it's a good idea to always, always look before you can put your hand somewhere. Make sure you know what's there. This is right out in the open, so we're really lucky that we saw it. Rarely see terciopelos this out in the open. I mean, my gosh, you know, you've got 10 feet one way and 15 feet the other way but I've got the selfie stick extended we are going to push in a little bit and see if we can get some close-ups of this snake Can you see on that rock? Salmon bellied razor. How cool is that? You rarely see him sitting still for very long. Salmon belly racer. Cool day snake in Costa Rica. Pretty cool snake. We're gonna go up the hill and maybe it'll be here when we come back. Hey, it's um, last night here in Costa Rica. It's been raining, that's why I've got the hat on. You're not gonna wanna miss the upcoming video. We had a chance to go and see one of the rarest snakes in the world, uh, the black-headed Bushmaster, uh, also known as the Plata Negro. We went with some experts uh, who were gonna monitor it and they've already taken some measurements and weights of it. So they think it's a gravid female. Uh, anyway, you're going to want to see that video, so go ahead and give us a thumbs up for this one. And go ahead and subscribe for the upcoming one, and that way you won't miss it. Hey, hey, so we got a red-eyed tree snake on the ground. 
Look at this beauty. Actually, this is the second one I found this year. The first one was after I'd eaten the bad tuna fish salad and it was sick all day. I'm going to see if I can scoop it. Oh, what a pretty snake. What a pretty snake. Syphilophus compressus. You don't find many of them, especially on the ground. This is the first one I've, well, it's actually the second one I found on the ground. Finally, it's calmed down a little bit. But boy, is it beautiful. I'm gonna try to put it somewhere and we can get some better shots of it. Shout out to Ray Morgan. I know it's one of his favorite snakes that he hasn't found. It's funny because I just saw it, uh, I saw his head just bobbing um, kind of uh, ground level. Like it was probably trying to get a lizard or something. All right, we're going to be leaving the red-eyed tree snake. Such an exciting find. They are so great to find. I average about one a year. See it hanging on the tree there. Let's get a little bit closer once more. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so we've got a first here. Um, behind me is a little tree called the walking palm tree. Um, those legs supposedly help the tree get closer to um, sunny areas. It's not clearly documented whether or not that happens. But what's interesting is uh, we have a bunhead tree snake living in the tree. And it's unusual for me to find them during the day. I know that other people have found them during the day many times, but not me. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to um, flip the camera around and we'll take a look at it. It's pretty cool. It's uh, when these logs, uh, I'm sorry, when these legs rot and die, it makes nice uh, a nice cavity for snakes. And I found a, a eyelash viper in one once. Um, but in this one, it's going to be the blunt head tree snake. We're not going to disturb it. Uh, and I hope it doesn't get disturbed um, from the camera and the lights. So there's the walking palm. You can see a little knot hole. Look how that snake's curled up in there. How cool is that? I've always wondered where they go and sleep during the day. And this is it. Bloodhead tree snake sleeping during the day. Very cool, very cool. And we'd go on to find more of the blunt head tree snakes. All right, next snake. Look at there. Blunt head tree snake. Blunt head tree snake. And another young blunt head tree snake. 
Pretty cool. Great view of a bunt head tree snake. Well, here we are with a wet piece of spaghetti. Bunhead tree snake. Another bunhead tree snake. Yeah, nearly missed this strand of spaghetti. <laughs> well, we've got another snake. This is a bunhead tree snake. How delicate that little tail is. Red. All right, we've got a sleeping snake in the tree. Uh, I haven't looked at it that closely, but I'm going to guess it's one of the racers, probably the salmon bellied racer. Uh, I believe it's a salmon bellied racer. Probably an, a juvenile or sub adult. Pretty snake. Hard to find in at least. Yeah, they're, they're eating me up. Yeah, I knew you'd find a cat eye. Watch him flatten out. I know, I see that. He's getting all chunky, isn't he? He is. There he goes. Well, he has flattened out he sure has. He's almost disappeared, man. Yeah. He has really spread those ribs out. <laughs> That's so cool. He is like, I mean, you can hardly see him in the in the you find her here. Come on, Nada. Still got the white on the head. Want some pictures? Yeah. Let's chit chit. Calm down. Calm down. Put your head up here. That one's almost about to lose its uh -huh. band. You know, that's about just as big about. as I've ever seen one with a band on it still. Yep. Just about to lose it. Here you go, baby. Go back that way. There you go. I'll turn my lighter. Yeah. Pretty calm. Yeah, he is compared to that last one. Yeah. That's a new one for you, isn't it? Yep. That's a new one for me. Wish he'd calm down, though. Instead of trying to get all crazy. Yeah, it's a pretty snake. They're gorgeous. Well, he's musked me, but that's okay. I expect to get musked. I can smell that yeah, oh yeah, that musk is terrible, ain't it? That little bit of yellow right there in that line. You shit on me too. Right. All right. All right, you can go. He's hiding his head now. He's, I see him. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one for me. Awesome. Right on. Yeah, I'm surprised we don't find more of these. They're such a gorgeous snake and the way they cobra up. I wish you would cobra up for us. Let me see if I can get him too. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. A little goes. bit. Yeah. There he goes. Yep. Got no neck. Look at the. Have you looked at the belly? Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. Look at that cobra nut. I think that uh, this is what those coral snakes love. They would probably eat anything that we found tonight. All these ground snakes. He is just adorable. Ninia maculata. Ain't he gorgeous? All right, we have some type of snake. It's probably uh, 
a forest racer of some type, but I, I can't get a good look at it. So I'm going to send the camera up over it. Hopefully we can get it that way. We've got a snake here. We can't really tell what kind it is. Send the camera up. I'm guessing it's a heel back. Not sure. Let me try another camera angle. <clears throat> well, we've got one more snake. Can't really tell what it is because it's too high, but I'm going to send the camera up and we'll see. Well, best I can tell, it's another blunt head tree snake. Let me get one more look. Hey, so uh, we were at, over here last night uh, and we saw the snake. We thought it was a blunt head tree snake. Um, but I think it's actually a cat eye snake that's about to shed. Let's see if we can somehow get up there again and take a closer look at it. Really take a look at the video. It looks like a cat eye snake that's about to shed. That's why the colors are so faded. Uh, it's not a blunt head. I saw its head earlier. Uh, so that's why I think it's probably a cat eye snake. It's too high to get a really good look. Um, and it's coiled, so you can't really tell the length and the body shape. But the pattern looks a lot like a, a blunt head tree snake. 